Um, this is unit seven test corrections number eight. Cynthia bought a circular cover for a backyard spa with an area of 48 square feet. Um, how can Cynthia best determine the radius of the spa cover? Okay, so we're gonna kind of work backwards. We're looking for the, we, we know the area, but we're looking for the radius. So if we fill in what we know, how can we solve to solve for this specific R right here? We would have to work backwards. So pi and R squared are multiplying. So the opposite of multiply is to divide both sides by pi. Okay, so it just asks for words. So the first step is divide by pi and you would get R squared equals 48 divided by pi. And then you would take the square root of each side. So the option that does that is answer F. Number nine, the figure below shows a square inside a rectangle. Which procedure should be used to find the area of the shaded region? Okay, so what you would do first is you would find the area of the big region. So you'd find the area of the rectangle and then subtract the area of the square. So find the area, find the perimeter, find the area, find the perimeter. Okay, we're not dealing with perimeter. Okay, so find the area of the rectangle and then add and subtract. So we're looking for subtract, which is answer choice C. Number 10, what is the area of the figure below? A lot of y'all were seeing this as two triangles and a square, and I would see it as just a trapezoid. So I would do the trapezoid formula, okay? So one half, base one is 25, base two is 11, and the height is 12. So 25 plus 11 is 36, okay? And then half of 36 is... 18, 18 times 12. Got 216, so the area is 216 feet squared, which is answer choice J. Okay, number 11. And the diagram shows the spot on a basketball court called the key. What is the area of the key? Okay, it's a rectangle and a semicircle. So my rectangle is base times height. So I have area equals 12 times 19. If I multiply 19 and 12, I get 38 there. And I got 228 for that. So the 228 is just this piece right here. So I'm going to find this piece. Now, a lot of the mistakes I saw were was this is the diameter, which is 12, but it's asking for pi r squared, which is our radius. So um, area pi is 3.14. If my diameter is 12, my radius is 6. But I'm going to divide this by 2 because it's a semicircle. So 3.14 times 36 divided by 2. Okay, I'm going to eliminate what I know, 36 divided by 2 which is 18, so 3.14 times 18, and then I'm gonna have to do that math. So 3.14 times 18, eight times four is 32, eight times one plus three is 11, and then we got 25 right there. One times four, one times one, one times three, one, two, one, two, and I have 56.52. I'm going to take this number and add it to 228. I have to make sure I line up my dot. Okay, and then we have 284.52, which matches answer choice C. Okay, number 12. It says the arrow shown below is on a street sign. What is the area of the arrow? Well, I have two different shapes. I have a rectangle, which is four by 10, which is four times 10 is 40. And then I have a triangle. But if I know this is four, then this is four right here. So 1.5 and 1.5, so the base is seven. This whole thing is 16, but this part is 10. So this part right here would be six. So I would say base times height divided by two, seven times six divided by two. Seven times six is 42 divided by 2 is 21. 40 and 21 is 61. 
And that is our answer for number 12. Okay, you should have two pieces right there. We should have added those together. Okay, number 13. What is the area of the shaded region of the figure below? Okay, you have two shaded regions. You have two rectangles. Base times height. Base times height. Remember, to get something out of something else, we would subtract the two. So we would say base times height minus base times height. So the big base times height is 8 times 5, which is 40. The little base times height is 3 times 5, which is 15. So 40 minus 15 is 25. Okay, number um, 14. Okay, we have two more. Miss Watson students built the first letter of their names out of wood. Holly builds an H using rectangles. How many square inches of wood does Holly use? Okay, I would do it piece by piece. I would do it into three sections like this. You could do the whole rectangle and then subtract out the two sections. But I would do 3 times 12, which is 36, and I know 36 is here too. And then I would do what this shape is, which is, this is 5, and this is 5, so this is 2, this is 3, and 3, so this is 4, so 2 times 4 is 8, so 36 plus 36 plus 8 is 12, 20, we should get 80 total, which is answer choice H, and then our last one. Number 15, she draws the pattern to help construct a bow, but it's asking about three bows. Okay, so we whatever we find for the area, we got to multiply it times three. This is a trapezoid here. Okay, that's a trapezoid. This is a rectangle in the middle. We have two trapezoids. So our rectangle is 24 here. Okay, our trapezoid here is... 1 half, base 1 is 10, base 2 is 6, the height is 5, so 1 half of 16 times 5, that's 8 times 5 is 40, so this is 40 and 40. So 40 plus 40 is 80, plus 24 is 104, but we have three of them, so that's where our number gets in, and we have 312. So that's our last question, so make sure you have everything written down and turn it into me.